What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a good day. Today we are back in the shop working on the Mustang GT. So today we're gonna try to get it in the shop and we're gonna start completely stripping the front end. Yes, yes, I need to get this thing done. My goal right now, oh my plan at least, not my goal. My plan with the Mustang is to get it fixed as soon as possible. Why is I'm planning to actually sell my, sell my BMW, the white one that I have, and I will, I'll be driving this one for a little while I look for a new car. And my new car that I want is a little bit specific and kind of pricey. So in order for me to be able to get it, I need to sell one of the cars and at least have one backup car. So yes, we are gonna get this thing. If you actually, before we get it in, it follow me on Instagram. Follow me right now if you haven't yet. It's Unclutch Auto um, or Unclutch. The link will be down below in my description. I will have actually a lot of videos that I don't post on YouTube that will be on Instagram like me. I pulled that car, I pulled this car from my other location over here on the roads using the tractor behind me and I probably won't put it in but I might put in a mini clip just so you guys know. Follow me there. I will be putting out a lot of videos that I just don't put on YouTube, you know? And follow me. I have like 150 followers which is not much but you know, hit that like button, follow subscribe down below turn on your post notifications so today's plan for the video is we are gonna go ahead and pull the Mustang into the shop we are planning to take apart the whole entire front end so practically hood fenders everything that's damaged on the car we need to take it off we're gonna pull out the uh, engine transmission driveline exhaust subframe everything that has to do with the front end why I need to get it onto the frame because we are gonna get the frame fixed on it next week I also need to go to the other shop, get the trailer, pick up the other Mustang, bring it to the shop, show you guys what I got, what we're working with, and then we're gonna start stripping the other one as well, putting all the parts from that one onto this one and making sure everything fits on good so we can get this thing fixed and rolling. I hope you guys enjoy the video. First thing I wanna do is I'm gonna hop in, start cleaning the car. It is very dirty inside, like a bunch of trash. It's clean from the outside, but let me show you the inside. The inside is extremely trashed up. Um, maybe not the driver's seat, but let's get to the passenger. And this is what I'm talking about. There's trash literally everywhere. Parts from the, I don't even know. It's not even from this car, not this. Yeah, the headlight's not from this car, like McDonald's. Um, what else is in here? Anyway, as you can tell, it is extremely dirty and I don't wanna be working on it in the shop and having crap falling out everywhere. So let me first clean it up and then we're gonna have to, again, take the tractor, we're gonna have to push it into there because it doesn't drive right now. It does start, I'll show that in a few minutes because I need to fix the wires again and get it started. It does start, we're gonna pull it in and we're gonna start taking everything, we're gonna start taking everything apart. All right, since we got it all cleaned up, next thing I wanna do is, as promised, I promised you guys to start the car. Let me explain what was wrong. So, looking into it, I got my booster hooked up so I can get started. But see these wires right here? Whatever. This is what caused the nut to start. So practically, <clears throat> cheap security system is what it is. Um, it went down through the pillar, as you remember through the last video, it was in there. I practically just snatched it out last time and it came out but technically inside there was some kind of switch where you just turn it on and off and if you turn it on the car won't start if you turn it off the car will start practically cheap security system got it disconnected got the wires connected that were holding on to this crap and now the car starts without any issues um, but before I started let me fix this there you go that's sitting perfect so let's go ahead and 
get this thing started because it sounds amazing and I love it. So let's get it going. Okay, so we actually have a slight change of plans. We actually went to our warehouse to pick up the parts Mustang because it is perfect outside and I probably won't have any other time to do it. We got the truck and the trailer all hooked up. We're here at the warehouse to pick up the Mustang for parts. So we're gonna get it loaded, bring it back to the, bring it back to the shop. We're gonna get it parked so we can start stripping it tomorrow. So we wanna do it before it gets dark. Also, we will still have that starting video for the Mustang. Just, just give me a few minutes. I'm just trying to like get everything done at once and it doesn't seem to be working out as good as I expected, but we'll get it all done. So my apologies for that. Let's keep going at it. So I'm back and it is the next day. Unfortunately, yesterday I did not have a chance to even start the car or put it in here. Uh, due to some complications, I had to run some errands and then after that I decided it's getting dark really fast. So I ran to the warehouse, picked up the parts car and actually picked up our new build. I haven't been posting it anywhere. I haven't showed it to anyone yet. It's in the back of the shop right now, which will be coming out very soon. Next video, we'll try to post on the parts car, but this video, we're gonna focus on trying to get this thing finally started and taking out the whole motor because in the next video, I'll be working on the parts car, pulling out the motor from there, taking the frame from there, putting this car on the subframe, and then we have to get the new frame in here and get everything straightened out so we can finally get this thing fixed, painted inside, and we can continue working on the car. So let's hop right into it. Let's get this thing started for you guys. Next thing I want to do is I can't run it too long because as you know, no coolant, nothing. It's going to heat up really quick. I'm going to try to hop in, start pulling off the engine. I need this thing out today. I really want to get, get it done as soon as possible. It's really, really hot out. So it's like I've been like, I couldn't wait for summer and now it's not even summer yet and it's already like 78 degrees out and I'm just breaking a sweat, you know? So let's hop in, start taking off the motor, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. What I went ahead and did so far is I removed the hood and also got the splash splash guards, fender liners, I got them removed. And next thing I'm planning to do is I'm planning to take off everything practically around, take off all the plastics, pull out the battery, every cable that's in the way I'm gonna remove. So I'm pra practically gonna disconnect all the wires 
everything that's practically holding on here. Most likely, I will have to disconnect all of this. Or actually, probably not. I'm just gonna have to disconnect all the main wires that are holding on over here that are hooked up to the computers so I can pull out the whole entire engine with all the wiring probably. And then, whew, this is a lot of work and I honestly do not know where to start from, but we will get this done. Let's continue on. As you've seen, so far I took apart almost every single thing around the engine that may be attached to it. And then so, what I'm planning to do right now is, how I'm planning to take out the engine, my idea, I wanna take it out with the transmission without, so I don't have to disconnect it. So what I'm planning to do is, see how I lifted, I, I took the engine mount from the top and I lifted it up to the manifold so now the engine is actually it's it's loose and it's hanging and the transmission mount I'll show you that in a sec I took it all off because it's all broken into pieces I took I found a heavy-duty strap for for hauling for like trailer stuff and I cut it in half put some holes in it and then I put a strap to hold the transmission because I couldn't find any chains short enough um, to hold it and so the next thing I want to do is I want to drop the subframe, take everything out, and then pull out the engine with, with the transmission and everything that's attached to it completely. So I don't have to take apart the transmission and then do all that extra hours of work. I want to just take it all out completely as one assembly. And hopefully this goes as planned. Because so far, everything is going pretty smooth and good. It's just really hot and... I mean, I'm sweating and look at my dog. She's just like sleeping. She's like, guys, I, I ain't gonna play, but it's hot out. So the whole time she's been sleeping with me, but so far everything's good. Also, when I was taking this part, when I was taking this apart over here, I was expecting it to be a much like worse damage and it's not that bad. So practically just push this back a little it didn't like actually smush the wall, which I can't really tell right now, but as of now how it looks like, it just pushed it back a little, which should be good. Nothing, nothing I should be worried about, but so far everything else looks good and I'm excited to get this thing out. Next thing I'll be doing is trying to drop this full assembly subframe without taking apart anything else. So let me show you what I did to the transmission. Let's hope it holds. As if now it's holding on, hopefully it doesn't rip and just fall on me, but this is what I was talking about. I'm, I'm kind of worried. I took the mount that was broken off here and here. It was completely like, as you can tell, it snapped and snapped right there. I took this heavy duty belt, which technically it says 5,400 LBs is 5,400 pounds is what this belt can handle. So I'm like, I mean, that should be good. I just cut a hole there, cut a hole there and there. And so far, I mean, it's doing the job. Like it's perfect. It's holding the transmission is what I want. And what I was talking about, what I want to do is I want to take these clamps off right here. I'm going to take off the exhaust 
most likely I'm gonna disconnect the drive line that's hooked up right here and then drop the whole entire subframe I'm gonna drop it down and pull out the whole engine with the transmission I'm gonna pull it in with a tractor and then I'm gonna just drop it and pull it out as one assembly Whew, that's a lot of work so let's continue on I actually got a lot of work done. Um, a lot of it wasn't time lapse, but let me explain. So you can see the subframe is down. What I did is I got the motor hooked up and I dropped the subframe and without damaging anything, it's holding on to the suspensions, which should be fine technically. I mean, I've done this a few times here and there. Nothing's got damaged before. But right now what I'm planning to do is I'm gonna go grab the tractor, I'm gonna pull it in, and I'm gonna take the forks, put them right here, lift the motor up a little, and I'm gonna pull it out slightly while having the jack back there at the transmission rolling back while I'm pushing it. Once I get it far back enough, I'm gonna set it back on these. I'm gonna set this thing back on this right here, and I'm gonna throw another strap that's gonna go around and hold the transmission and engine at the same time. So you guys will see what I'm talking about. I know it's a little complicated, but let me show you everything I've done. I mean, so far it's looking pretty good. Right here, so this is what I was talking about. I dropped the subframe and it's completely loose. And the engine as well, if you look at it, I can literally shake it back and forth. And what I did is I completely dropped this as low as I can, so I have enough space over here to lift it up, up and down. I probably have like seven, eight inches so I can level the engine out up and down. And that turned out good. Next thing I'm planning to do is, as I was explaining, I'm gonna take this jack, I'm gonna put it underneath the car, I'm gonna take that belt away that I put there, and I'm gonna jack it up. So when I put the forks in up top, I can scoot it out with the jack. You know what I'm talking about? Yep, exactly. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And then I believe, I believe if everything is disconnected, it should just come right out with the transmission. Hopefully no, none of the exhaust stuff touches anything and it just comes smoothly out. That's what I'm hoping for, you know? And let's try not to damage anything. Let's get this thing completely out. Man, it looks beautiful. This is what's up. Man, this thing is a beast. Even though it's not meant to lift this much weight, this is what we did. Practically, it's going so far as planned. This thing is holding the engine, and then I got the strap holding the exhaust and the transmission. Let me try to show you as best as I can. Right here. Whew. It's, a it's a lot of stress on the tractor, but it's doing it.
it's getting it done. So here you go. As you can tell, so practically it's holding from the bottom of the transmission. It's holding right here. We strapped it around. What I'm gonna do again is I'm gonna tilt the forks up and hopefully the tractor can have enough weight to pull it out of the shop. But so far, I mean, the car is almost done. It's looking good. There you go, so we're gonna keep going. So, so far, this thing is going as planned as you can tell. I mean, we got it out. Uh, now we know why it wasn't going into gear. A lot of stuff was broken down there, which hopefully we can get that fixed as soon as possible. But the engine is out of the car. I'm so happy I finally got the engine out. And next thing I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna quickly clean it up, clean up all the tools, put everything like just rearrange everything because I feel like I'm in a big mess. I'm gonna clean everything up. I'm gonna go ahead, throw the subframe back on, screw everything in, get everything evened out there, all the cables tied down. And then next thing I'm planning is we're gonna roll the car out and then we're gonna try to get it on the, on the frame, like the way it is backwards on the frame because I can't push it from the back, there's a bumper. And hopefully we can get this all done today and we're gonna close out that video really soon. Let's continue and hope you guys enjoy the rest of it. is officially on the frame this is how it's looking I mean it's sitting good and then tomorrow is Monday the framer is gonna start working on it it's looking good from the back looking thick that's for sure <laughs> but here you go all done barely got the subframe back on because of the front rail is bent so I had to like hammer it back in there but I mean I got it on got the steering to work and we're officially on the frame <laughs> 